today we are going to work on solving multi-step equations. We are going to be on slide 14. We are going to work those out in our composition book. So let's go ahead and look at it. And what I'm going to allow you all to do is work out all six of these problems. Make sure you check your answers and then take a picture of the page that you did your work on. If it's more than one page, that's fine. Put that in instead of putting each individual picture in here. We'll save some time just by putting one big picture in here. So go ahead and open up your journal to the next page and go ahead and write the first problem down. I'll show you mine after I copy this problem down. Here is my page. Solve the multi-step equations. It's the same title as our digital interactive notebook. All right, so we took it easy in the beginning. We solved two-step equations, and then we uh, solved equations that had variables on both sides. Now we are solving where we are distributing Combining like terms, and then moving the variable and equation around. Okay, do you have the problem written down? Yes. Okay, first step is always draw your line down your equal sign. And we want to distribute first, simplify both sides. The left side is already simplified, so I'm just going to rewrite that. The next side, the right side, we need to simplify this. So what operation do we need to do? Yeah, distributive property. So I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 4x and times the 20. So 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times 20 is 40. Okay, so now it's a problem just like we did yesterday. So we need to move the smaller x first. The 8x. Yeah, let's move the 8x. So subtract 8x on both sides. So 8x minus 8x is 0. 15 minus 8, 7x. Carry down the minus 22 equals, and then 40. Minus 23. Yes, minus 23. I wrote it right, just didn't say it right. Okay, and then we need to get this minus 23 on the other side because we want the 7x by itself. So plus 23. We get 7x equals 40 plus 23. 63. Divide by 7. So x equals 9. Hey, okay, we still need to check it, though. So underneath here, I'm going to write check, and this is a bad I'm throwing that away. Try this again, check. And I'm going to plug in the 9. So 15 times 9 minus 23 equals maybe, question mark, two parentheses, four parentheses, nine, plus 20. And we're going to put this straight in the calculator. If you need to grab one of mine, go for it. If you want to use your Chromebook, you can do that. So I'm going to do the left side first. So 15 parentheses, nine, minus 23. So that's 112. And then do the other side. Two parentheses, four parentheses, nine, plus 20. Close parentheses. 112. So we checked it. 
So now put a box around your answer or highlight it. That looks kind of bad, huh? I shouldn't do highlight over purple. Okay. Hey, how was that? Y'all okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's do the next problem. Is it 32 equals? Six X minus parentheses two X plus eight. Okay, so first step is to simplify both sides. Can't do anything on the left side. So thirty two equals. The right side, we have 6x minus 2x plus 8. So what is minus, what is here, though? It's like a 1. And so what do we need to do with this minus 1 right up next to this parentheses? Get rid of it by distributing. This would be 6x, and then that would be minus 2x, minus 8. Because it's negative 1 times 2x, which is negative 2x. Negative 1 times positive 8 is negative 8. So then we need to see if we need to simplify any more. The left side's fine. But the right side, we have 6x minus 2x. 6x minus 2x becomes 4x, then minus 8. Because that minus 8 just gets drugged down here. 6x minus 2x is 4x. Okay, now we can, we've distributed, we've combined like terms. So now we need to solve and get x all by itself. So I need to move this minus 8 to the other side by doing the opposite, so plus 8. Thirty-two plus 8 is 40. And then divide by 4 all the way through. 40 divided by 4 makes 10 equals x. I like it written the other way, so I'm just going to write x equals 10. And then we need to check our answer by plugging in 10. So this would be 32 equals with a question mark on top. 6 times 10 minus parentheses 2 times 10 plus We can put that in the calculator. The left side is just 32. Nothing happened to that. Then we do 6, parentheses 10, minus 2, times 10. Oh, I forgot. Uh, parentheses here. Plus 8. Equals 32. So that means we did it right. Our answer is x equals 10.
Okay, let's look at number three. Five X plus 17 equals nine parentheses, negative X plus 12 plus three X. Okay, the left-hand side is already simplified. So we just write 5x plus 17. Nothing we can do on that side yet. But my right-hand side, I have a 9 times this whole thing. So that means I need to distribute the 9 to everything. So 9 times a negative x is negative 9x. 9 times 12. I don't know that on the top of my head. 9 times 12. 108. Nine times three. Twenty seven. Mm -hmm. So I've distributed, but now uh, I look on my right side and I see I have two terms that have x's. So I need to combine these. So it's a negative 9x plus 27. So negative 9 plus 27 is 18. And it's positive. And my left side is the exact same. So now I need to get all the X's on one side. So which X do I move? Yeah. Seventeen equals eighteen minus five, thirteen x plus one oh eight. Now, what do I do? I need to move this. How do I move it? Yeah, subtract 108. 17 minus 108. Negative 91. Equals 13x. Okay, what's next? Five by thirteen. So negative ninety-one divided by thirteen. Negative seven. Still need to check it though, so we're gonna write down how we're checking it. So every time I see the X, I'm going to plug in negative 7 in parentheses. Okay, so the left side, 5 times negative 7 plus 17, negative 18. 
And then nine parentheses, negative parentheses, negative seven. And the reason why I did negative and then a parentheses negative seven is because the negative is already there and X is negative seven. So I have to put negative and then negative seven plus 12 plus three times negative seven. Close parentheses and close parentheses again. Negative 18. So that means we did it right. And our correct answer is, I like writing it the other way, x equals negative 7. Negative 7 equals x is the same thing, but I should like to write it the other way. Number 4. Thirteen x equals negative parentheses nine minus twelve x minus five. I just went ahead and wrote the other three problems down. I'm going to give you a few minutes to go ahead and do four, five, and six on your own. And then we will check them together. So go ahead and pause the video. If you're watching the video right now. And work on four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go over these problems. So I've already distributed the negative 1 throughout. And then the next step would be to combine your like terms, the con constants are your like terms, so negative 9 and negative 5. You still have 13x on the left side, though. And I'm going to pull 12x over here and then do negative 9 minus 5, which would be negative 14. Then I got to get all the X's on one side. So I need to move this 12 X over. Leaving us with one X equals negative 14. Or just X equals negative 14. And we have to check it. So we would plug in negative 14 every time we see an x. So 13 parentheses negative 14 equals negative parentheses 9 minus 12 times a negative 14, close parentheses, minus 5. And this one you'd close the parentheses twice because you close it around the negative 14 and then you also do a parentheses that's already there. So the left side is 13 times a negative 14. Negative 182. And then negative. So use the negative sign. Parentheses. 9 minus 12. Parentheses. Negative 14. Close parentheses. Close parentheses again, minus 5, so negative 182. Could you stop, please? So x equals negative 14. Yeah. So x equals negative 14. All right, let's go on to number 5. What's the first thing I'm going to do? Yep, distribute the 2. So it'd be 16x minus 10. 
And then this is 2x, but it's minus a negative 18. Did I write that right? What do you do with minus a negative 18? Yeah, it becomes plus 18. Keep change change or keep change flip. Okay, so now we need to get all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other. So we're going to move our smaller x. So minus 2x to both sides. We're left with 14x minus 10 equals 18. Then add 10 to both sides. Get 14x equals 28. Then divide by 14. x equals 28 divided by 14. 2. So we just want to check it. So we plug in 2 everywhere we see an x. So 2 parentheses. 8 times 2 minus 5 equals, with a question mark, 2 times 2 minus a negative 18. So you always put it back in the original. So go ahead and put that in the calculator, see if it is equal. Whenever you do that, 2 parentheses 8 times 2 minus 5, close parentheses, 22. And then 2 parentheses times 2 minus parentheses negative 18. Also equals 22. Okay, last problem. The left hand side isn't, we don't have to do anything, so 42 equals. But the right side, we actually have two sets of parentheses, so we need to distribute. Here we distribute a negative 1. And here we distribute a positive 7. So that'd be 8x minus 4x. Negative 1 times a negative 8 plus 8. Then 7 times x is plus 7x. 7 times a negative 3 is a negative 21. Okay, the left-hand side is still simplified already. The right side, though, we need to combine like terms. So we have an 8x minus 4x plus a 7x. So you can do this. Just do it 8 minus 4 plus 7 equals 11. So 11x and then plus 8 minus 21. So positive 8 minus 21, negative 13. Okay, so that is a way simpler problem to look at now. So what do we have to do? So plus 13x. 42 plus 13. 55 equals 11x. Divide by 11. 5 equals x. So we need to check our work by plugging it in. 42 equals question mark 8 times 5 minus parentheses 4 times 5 minus 8 plus 7 parentheses 5 minus, ooh, I ran out of there, minus 3. That right side is just a lot, a lot of numbers. 
So we just put it in, eight parentheses, five, minus parentheses, four times parentheses, five, minus eight, close parentheses, plus seven parentheses, another parentheses, right? Five, close parentheses, minus three, close parentheses, or two. Yay, we got the same thing. All right, so we are done with that slide. Okay, your assignment is going to be um, solving, I think there are 14, 14 equations, showing your work and showing checking. Make sure you take a picture of this and insert it in on your page. I'm going to do that too. Let me see. Sure. All right, so insert that picture in, and then your assignment will be on Google Classroom.